করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কর্মহীন বেকার হয়ে ঘরে বসে থাকব না দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি You have come to Sister Kuhinur, and she will certainly do something for you, girl. In which class do you study now? Class 10, who will appear for HEC next year. How old are you? Are you 18? No, sister, I am only 15. In that case, you have nothing to worry or be upset over. We are here for you. Sister, the fact is, Pia's father has many children, so he thinks if he gets Pia married off, he would get rid of some burden. Pia, do you know how to do any particular work? No, sister. I can only rear some poultry birds at home. That's it. We have got some egg legs. Sister, please build a poultry farm for her. I am rearing poultry already. Two of my hens are laying eggs and another has hatched her chickens. Rearing some poultry bird at home and establishing a poultry farm is not the same thing. You will need to buy a hundred chicks and sell those off after rearing them into adult chickens. The profit you can get from doing that will be enough to make up for your educational cost, your livelihood cost and the required money to run a family. Oh God, I will need to have a lot of money to establish a poultry farm. Where will I get that amount of money? You will get that money from an NGO as a loan. You can become a member of our skills training center today. Can you give Taka 10 per week as a savings? Yes, sister, I can. I will pay the amount after selling off my chicken eggs. Please coach me on how to establish a poultry farm. There are two types of poultry birds that are reared on a commercial basis. They are broiler chickens and layer chickens. Materials required for starting poultry rearing. Materials or things that we need permanently to establish a poultry farm are a poultry farm house measuring 20 feet in length, 10 feet in breadth and 7 to 8 feet in height. Apart from that, we need some large and small check trays or feeder pots, large and small water pots, baskets, spade and wear made net etc. We would also need some other things regularly such as paddy husk, rope, wood dust, 100 watt electric bulbs, polythene, electric wires and hand gloves. These materials are available at bazaars and makeshift bazaars at district and sub-district towns. Tentative expenditure of building a poultry farm house is 10,000 taka and together all the fixed and current or variable materials would cost 8,200 taka approximately. The living place of the poultry should be comfortable. The deck or the floor of the farmhouse should be leveled properly and have to be at least one and a half to two feet high from the ground. The hut can be erected using bamboo, wooden plank and earth or bricks to construct the structure. But it is better if you build the hut with bamboo woven thick mat. In doing so, your costs to erect the hut will be lower. Be careful in building the farmhouse so that it gets enough sunlight and airflow. The hut should be seven and a half to eight feet in height. 
The farmhouse should also have water drainage facility around it. After you have completed erecting the farmhouse structure, cover it with 1.5 to 3 feet high thick wire net. You have to apply poison around the farmhouse to protect the chicks, chickens from the attack of rodents. In a space of 200 square feet, 150 to 170 chickens can be reared easily. You have to prepare litter using paddy husk on the floor for the first 10 to 15 days. After 15 days, you can use oud dust also to prepare the floor instead of using paddy husk. This method is called the litter method. By doing this, the poultry excreta would not stick to the floor. After the first week, you have to scratch the litter prepared by paddy husk every day. If the litter gets heavily wet by the poultry excreta, you have to spread 2 kg limes on it and can turn the litter upside down. You have to turn the litter upside down twice or thrice in a week with the help of a spade or shovel. If a part of the litter starts stinking or gets hard after being clogged by poultry excreta, you have to throw that portion out. You have to mix new litter with the old one. If a portion of that is at all usable. If not, you have to lay a new litter. After every six to seven months, you have to lay a new litter. You can, however, use the old litter as an organic fertilizer. After you have erected the farmhouse, you have to collect one day old broiler or layer chicks from the farms or hatcheries located at the district or sub district towns and have to release them in your newly built farmhouse. You can purchase a chick at a price of taka 40 to 50 per chick. You have to brood the one day old chicks for three to four weeks after bringing them in from the hatchery. Rearing chicks, keeping them in a controlled temperature environment and providing them food and water is called brooding. Hang 200 watt electric bulbs from the ceiling of the farmhouse to brood 100 chicks. Hang them at a height of 1 foot or 1 and a half feet from the floor with the help of a hood. Erect railings to make sure that the chicks cannot go beyond the control temperature zone. Keep the food trays and water pots at different places in the hut. Usage of light in chick rearing is very important. Consult the chart below to learn how much time you have to keep a chick in light. You have to cover all sides of the farmhouse with gunny made curtains to save poultry birds and chicks or cold weather during the rainy or winter seasons. And you also have to make arrangements so that air can pass through the farmhouse adequately during summer or humid seasons. A poultry chick does not require food up to 36 hours of its birth, so you should only give them fresh water to drink for the first two days. Always keep clean water in water pots for the chicks. For starters, you can give them types of crushed food by spreading 3 to 4 tin foils or mats on the floor separately inside the hut. After the chicks are 5 to 6 days old, replace the tin foils or mats from the floor and give them food in small chick trays. Accordingly, give them fresh water to drink in small water pots. 5 chick trays and 5 water pots would do to feed and hydrate 100 chicks. When they're 1 to 45 days old, you have to feed these poultry bears daily and weekly as mentioned in the list. The amount of feed can differ depending on the species of poultry birds or the environment they live in. It would not be a problem if you give more feeds to the broiler chickens than their actual need. As a result, they grow quickly because of the increased intake of food. You should not give the poultry birds stale, rotten or fungal food. There are three kinds of poultry feed that are available in the market in the name and style of starter, grower and finisher. You have to keep your chicks under right temperature as per their age and have to feed them and provide them water regularly. Diseases of poultry birds while they are at the farm house and their remedies. Poultry birds die after being affected by diseases like runny cat, pox, blood dysentery, cholera, bird flu, etc. So, you have to be very careful. If you notice that any of your poultry is affected by such diseases, you should call on a veterinary to your farm immediately. After assessing symptoms, diagnosing the disease, the veterinary doctor can then treat the birds with medicines or vaccines as required. Regular and proper vaccination of your poultry birds is vital. All the instructions are written on the label of the bottles of the vaccines. But you have to consult a veterinary doctor before vaccinating your poultry birds. You have to verify the vaccines and their usage after consultation with the representatives of the medicine selling companies and local veterinary doctors. 
Keep the affected birds separately and do not vaccinate them. You have to vaccinate the birds early in the morning or in the evening. You have to complete the vaccination process within an hour. You have to bury off the empty or unutilized vaccine bottles underground. You have to bury off your dead poultry birds underground too. You must not enter the firm house wearing your shoes. You have to enter into the poultry firm house after washing your hands and legs, tying your hair and after changing your clothes. Remember to wash your hands, legs and face again after getting out from the farmhouse. Wash all the materials used in your farming such as food trays and water pots, wall mats of the house and other materials regularly by using phenyl mixed water and dry them off in the sunlight. You have to change the litter after getting all the poultry buds out of it within 50 days. If the condition of the old litter is okay to be reused, then mix lime with it and dry it in the sun. The firm house should be vacant at least for 10 to 15 days. Layer Poultry Farm The farm in which poultry birds are reared to produce eggs are called Layer Poultry Farm. Layer poultries begin laying eggs when they are 20 weeks or 5 months old. This poultry bird lay eggs for a year or more at a stretch. You have to collect the chicks from the farms and you have to brood the chicks for 28 to 35 days. The layer poultry birds peck one another, so you have to trim their bills between the age of 7 to 8 days. You have to use a sharp knife, blade or a special plier to trim their beaks. You have to follow the same guidelines to find remedies when your layer beds get sick. If needed, layer poultry beds have to be given anti-warm medicines. Feed a layer poultry chick after 45 days as accordingly a broiler chick is fed. After that, you can increase the amount of feed. When the layers begin to lay eggs, you have to give them feed as per the list. Mix crushed oyster with the principal poultry feed and give the layers to eat those. You must not give more food to the layer poultry birds than mentioned in the chart. If you do so, then the amount and size of their laid down eggs get smaller. It would be better if you divide the food amount mentioned below in three equal parts and feed them three times a day. Among the first 100 layers, 85 of them in average lay an egg daily. When the layers get 18 months old, they do not lay eggs to the extent they laid earlier. So you have to sell off those layers which are over 18 months old and then bring in new layers in your farm. It is very important to use light to produce poultry eggs. So you need to know in details about how much time they should be kept under the light according to their age. Eggs remain in good condition for 3 to 4 days in summer and 7 to 10 days in winter naturally. You should not wash the eggs in water. If it is littered, the eggs can rot quickly if you wash the eggs in water. So, you have to wipe the littered eggs with a thick cloth or with a brush. Poultry birds and eggs can be sold at local bazaars. Apart from that, local traders also buy poultry birds and eggs directly from the farms at a wholesale price. You can earn a profit of taka 9720 in just two months after spending taka 21720 to establish a poultry firm of 100 broiler poultry birds and rearing them. Now, we would see how this profit can be generated. A profit of 9720 taka can be generated from a broiler poultry firm. It is possible to earn a profit of 171,680 after the sales of both poultry birds and eggs in one year, six months after investing taka 100,000 and 820 at different phases of establishing and running a layer poultry firm of 100 poultry birds. However, you can meet up the rest of the cost with the money that you will earn just after spending 25,000 to 30,000 taka in cash at the outset of the establishment of the farm up to six months of its operation. Now, you would see how this amount of profit can be generated. Income and expenditure accounts of rearing 100 lay poultry birds. Sister, you always make mistakes when you calculate profit. And how exactly did I do that? You only calculated the monetary benefits. You know, 
sister Pia scored GPA 5 in the SSC exam held this year in Kareem all related cost of her education and livelihoods including helping her father to maintain his family from the income of her poultry farm. Who shall calculate the benefits of all those eels? I can't stop my tears today, sister. My tears of happiness. Had it been for you and your help? <laughs> oh, now is not the time for crying, sweetheart. Today is a day of triumph and delight. Laugh, live happily, and we will all join in to share your happiness and toast your success. Well, give me the money. I would like to make the advance payment right away for the floral wreaths and sweets. Shadamia, I have decided to honor her on behalf of her skills training center for all her success and I want you to manage the event. If you can rear poultry, your life would be happy. You would get a hefty profit and there would be no poverty.